Good morning. Good morning. This is Cynthia and it is day 19 in our morning devotions in our new devotional book. I guess it's not, I know it's 19 days in Awaken. And uh, this morning, as I opened up my devotional, I smiled at the topic today and the title. Have you ever heard the saying, the ball's in your court? And that's exactly what our devotional this morning is the topic is, is the ball is in your court. And in our devotional this morning, she uses the scripture out of Isaiah chapter six, verse eight. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. I heard the Lord's, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Then I said, here I am, send me. This is in Isaiah chapter six, verse eight. And if you've read the chapter of six of Isaiah, you know that it starts out in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. And we see here in this particular instance, Isaiah is having an encounter with the Lord and he's in the throne room. He's in heaven, uh, either physically or spiritually, however you want to say it. He's, he has a vision. He has a dream. He, he is there. And he sees the goings on of what is happening in the throne room. And he sees the seraphim and they're, they're crying out to one another. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God almighty. And we see that as this is how the, the chapter begins. And as he's, he's listening, he's listening to and watching the going ons of what is happening in heaven uh, and God begins to speak out whom shall we send and he's he's making the call looking for someone to go and do the work that he has uh, that he needs to have done in the earth realm and Isaiah finds himself um, shouting out here I am send me and I love the aspect of looking at that that story in that context or the context in which it's shared is that Isaiah, it's almost as if he's, he, he can't help himself. He's just overcome to like, pick me, pick me. If you remember being in school and picking sides and picking, picking team members. And Isaiah is, 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 Hey, here I am over here. Look, 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 send me. And then it isn't until after he's the Lord um, picks him or the, or he, he volunteers that he finds out what, the what the task is to do and I wonder uh, first off are you willing to do whatever task the Lord has for you to do um, it's a good question but before we get too far into that let's back up for a second Isaiah would never have heard the call had he not been in the place that he was at and so I think for me the picture here today is, is are we spending the time that we need to, to get our place into the place where we can hear God, where we can see God, where we're in a place of reception to be able to pick up what God is saying, what is happening, what is occurring in the, the realm of heaven, uh, God's throne room. And are we in that position? Are we able to do that? And are we in a prayerful place? Are we in a, a, a devotional state? Are we in a a place of receptivity and a place of worship. Um, we know the scripture tells us that we enter into his courts and we enter into his gates with praise. So do we have a, a praise filled heart and a praise filled life that we're able even to enter in? And then are we doing that? Are we utilizing prayer and praise in order to obtain access to his throne room? And then when we obtain access, are we in a state of trying to give him all of our, our, our list, our laundry list of what we want him to do? Or are we um, listening and watching for what's occurring there and volunteering for items that God may be looking for? We know, I think it's an Ezekiel there's a scripture that says um, he looked for a man, right? He, that would stand watch. He's looking for people that will stand up and say, here I am, send me. And not necessarily being concerned with the assignment as much as being useful to the master. Because like I said, he didn't even know what the assignment was until after he volunteered. So are we in a place that we're willing to volunteer for whatever assignment and whatever God has on his agenda for the day or the month or the year or for a lifetime. 
I think these are really important questions that we need to look at, look at in our lives. First and foremost, are we in a place that we can hear God, that we can obtain those messages to recognize that God is, is speaking? I personally believe that God is speaking all the time. He's always at work. Excuse me. We know in the scripture, uh, Jesus said that uh, my father is always at work when he was being criticized for healing someone on the Sabbath. And um, he, he said, in response to, to that criticism that my father is always working. And then he also went on to say, I only do what I see my father doing. And so we, we, we have this concept that God is always at work because Jesus said so. So it's true. And he, our, our uh, complete and total um, direction, our complete and total uh, example of how we are to live our life here on earth was always doing what he only what he saw the father doing. And so are we able to see what the father is doing? Are we looking to see what the father's doing? Are we listening to hear what the father is doing? I think these are all important questions. We many times say we're not sure what God would have us do, but have we been looking for him? Have we been watching for him? Have we been studying for him? Have we been accessing the places that he is found so that he is able to communicate back to us what he wants of us and what he wants to do in us and what he wants to do out through us? Those are all questions that we need to look at when we think about the ball is in your court. We think, well, I'll do whatever God wants me to do, but God has to tell me. But are we at a place that we can hear what God would say? And so I, the, today also we see in 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10, of course, the call of Samuel. And the Lord came and stood and called as he had at other times. And he says, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said after the third time, right? He wasn't quite sure what was going on. And he thought it was a, a person. So he went to the priest. And then the priest said, um, when you hear the voice again, say, here I am. And so Samuel said, speak for your servant is listening. So we need to be in a place that we can hear the Lord. Um, at that time, uh, Samuel was being raised uh, within the, the purview of the, the sanctuary, the temple. He was being raised up by the priest to learn how to be um, a servant um, in that position, a, a worker within, within the temple, within the, the sanctuary. And so we as a people need to be in a place where we're submissive enough that we're able to learn from someone, but also that we're in a place that we're, we put ourselves, that we're open to what God is saying. And then when we sense that God might be speaking, that we'll actually listen. And then the last scripture that I want to share, excuse me, today, uh, actually there's two, it's 1 Peter 4.10, also found in our devotional today. Each one has received a special gift, employ it in one and serving one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. And when we're willing to do what God has for us to do, what we're effectively doing is serving because Jesus said that he didn't come. And we're going to read that in Mark 10, verse 45. Even the son of man did not come to be served. He didn't come and say, hey, here I am. I'm the king of the ages. Please, you know, bow down and worship me, which would have been true and was true. But he came to serve. And so and he gave his life for a ransom for many. So are we willing to serve and are we willing to give our life uh, and, and payment and in service to others? Great questions this morning as we think about the ball is in our court. We think many, so many times, wrongly so, that we're waiting on God. But I think in, in all actuality, God is waiting on us. I hope that helps you. I hope that stirs some question within you and uh, causes you to seek the face of the Lord. And till tomorrow, I will see you again as we, again, are studying Awaken. And I thank you for your uh, joining us. And I bless you to discover what he has for you.